Carnotaurus versus Scorpio's Rex. Scorpio's Rex was the first hybrid Henry Wu ever produced. It was a medium-sized theropod, smaller than the Indominus Rex and slightly larger than the Indoraptor. Its features were heavily deformed, so Simon Masrani decided it was too grotesque to show the public. Its odd traits included a brachycephalic muzzle, red eyes with slit pupils set high on its skull, a prominent overbite and jagged, uneven teeth. It had venomous spines on its elbows, tail and neck due to its scorpion fish DNA, which could detach and embed in an opponent's flesh in a manner similar to a porcupine. Much like Henry Wu's other hybrids, it had opposable thumbs and grasping talons, which enabled it to climb and ambush prey from above. Its semi-prehensile tail also aided in climbing. Like the Indominus Rex, it had infrared vision, which allowed it to see the heat signature of its prey. The hybrid had the ability to reproduce asexually due to frog DNA. As a result, the single S-Rex managed to give birth. Scorpio's Rex also possessed accelerated growth. The population of the deadly creature would have increased rapidly if left unchecked. Carnotaurus, meaning meat-eating bull, was one of the most bizarre yet dangerous meat-eating dinosaurs ever found. Its skull was short, and it featured spiked armor in the form of scales across its body, proven by skin impressions. The neck and shoulder blades were well-developed, but the arms were ridiculously short, with forearms so shrunken they were practically just wrists. Not even T-Rex had such puny arms. With its small skull and weak bite force, a weakish, Carnotaurus might not have been able to attack large plant eaters, but it was probably fast due to its long and powerfully built legs, and could have easily chased down smaller, agile prey. In fact, research has indicated that despite Carnotaurus's small head, its jaws were able to open very wide in order to catch prey. The horns of Carnotaurus resemble a bull, and like a bull, it may have used them in contests with others of its own species. In this way, two Carnotaurus could test each other's strength without any participant becoming wounded fatally. Carnotaurus has become quite famous, first appearing in Disney's Dinosaur, and more recently, Jurassic World, although its size is like a T-Rex, so it's greatly exaggerated. Anyway, who would win in a fight? Let's find out. First, some stats. Scorpio's Rex. No, it's not Scorpius. Show me where it says Scorpius. Height, 3.5 meters. Length, 8 meters. Weight, 1.2 tons. Speed, 35 kilometers an hour. Decently fast. Bite force, pretty strong due to the T-Rex DNA. 3,000 newtons. Diet, he's a freak, so he'll eat anything. Now onto the stats of Carnotaurus. Height, 3 meters. Length, 7 meters. Weight, 1.25 tons. Speed, 32 kilometers an hour. Pretty fast. Bite force, 3,100 newtons. More than Scorpio's, because he doesn't have a deformed jaw. And diet, he's a carnivore. Traditional carnivore. Okay, now onto the advantages of Scorpio's. Well, he's slightly taller, he's slightly longer, he's slightly faster, he's more intelligent, despite being genetically messed up, and he has functional arms with opposable thumbs. It's a big one. Now to the disadvantages of Scorpios. His jaw is messed up and weaker, he has bad genetics overall, although he's still smarter, and he's slightly lighter, despite being larger due to his weird shaped body. Okay, now onto the advantages of Carnotaurus. He has a stronger bite, like a bulldog. He's designed by nature, TM, and he's overall more robust, with a more traditional center of gravity. Okay, now onto the disadvantages of Carnotaurus. He's slightly smaller, he's slightly slower, but just slightly. He's less intelligent, and he has no arms, shall we say. Okay, let's fight. The clever Scorpios has found a way to sneak into the Carnotaurus paddock. The nearby T-Rex was too large to attack for lunch. Scorpios sneaks up on Carno and bites his tail. Carnotaurus spins around in confusion and bites, and Scorpio slashes back. Carnotaurus bites again, but misses. Scorpios bites Carno in the ankle and tears a chunk of flesh all the way to the hip. It's disgusting. 
Carno screams in pain and bites Scorpio on the neck, damaging him, but also damaging his jaw due to the spikes. Scorpio has sufficiently weakened Carno to deliver the final blow. He slashes at Carno, spilling his intestines on the floor. Finish him. <laughs> Verdict. Due to arm mobility alone, Scorpio takes this battle. Plus, he's just more sneaky and he's larger and, and also the intelligence is a big winning factor. So 75% goes to Scorpio's Rex. I'm sorry, but the natural Carnotaurus doesn't stand the chance. Okay, which two dinosaurs should battle next? Please let me know in the comments below and I might make it. Until next time, I'm going to be okay. Please hit the bell icon, subscribe, like, share. And if you do share, share it to xvideos.com. Thank you. I'll see you later. YouTube recently launched memberships. Bye bye, Patreon. Members gain access to custom emojis no one else can use. And depending on how long you stay a member, your standing and rank in the community increases and is displayed on your custom badge. You'll also gain access to a monthly members only dinosaur battle. This one's 3D. Oh, members are featured in the military parade animation at the end of every single episode. Choose your own custom avatar, digger, scientist, or dinosaur hunter. Platinum members will also get my home address. So what are you waiting for? Join the community. Become a member now.